Hi guys, in this lesson we will talk about core, how we can use it and what we need to do to make it stronger. So core is very important for our dancing, core and pelvis, that's the area what we will talk today because that's how we're holding our balance while we're moving, that's where we're connecting with the partner, that's what creates our posture. So all of this is very important how you stay here and maintaining it while you're dancing. And it doesn't matter which style you do, ballroom, lighting, smooth, rhythm, everywhere, it's the same concept, how you're maintaining it. So, let's go ahead and start it. First thing, what I want you to do, it's keeping your feet apart, keeping your feet parallel, then softening your knees, feel very stable, very comfortable, and while you're bending your knees, feel that your pelvis getting into this straight position, which is parallel to the floor, if you see my belt, it's parallel to the ground and what is important, that this part never changes ok, so don't do more here or this way ok, that's when our lower back getting in bad position and that's where you have a back pain yeah, and the center goes out and that's when it's very hard for you to keep balance so make sure that you're engaging this part and right now by bending your knees you feel that your tailbone goes down, your hips getting straight, okay? From this position, you already should feel that your core muscles getting engaged. They're not stiff, but they already doing some activity. So feel that your lower core is engaged too, and your uh, thighs here in this area is flat and open. Yeah, so if you have a wall, you can come in and feel that this part will be flat okay so from this position what I want you to do open up your rib cage a little bit more you can even grab with your hands and lift your ribs up and apart just to get extra stretch keep your knees soft keep your pelvis in the same position so you did this stretch and what we will do right now with this stretch we need to breathe out but keep the same body position so my core stays my shoulders can be relaxed rub, turn them all the way up and down yeah relax them lift it up and push it back and down feel that you don't have any tension in your shoulders while you're maintaining your core keep staying in the same position your shoulders relaxed you can shift weight from leg to leg and maintaining this posture in your core that's very important just keep it straight keep it engaged but not being too stiff so keep breathing shifting weight from leg to leg and maintaining just focus on that area what helps me a lot while I'm doing this exercise or while I'm dancing the pressure to the floor so if I want to have a strong core and my legs are relaxed it's very hard my hips can go from position to position changing positions very easily but if I want to maintain this I always feel that I have to engage pressure to the floor with my legs so imagine that your feet it's like uh, creating a strong pressure down it's like roots of the tree they're giving you strong support for your hips so both feet pushing down with the soft knees and that resistance will give you this strong position in your pelvis which will give you great support for your rib cage, for your arms and for your head. So relax completely, shake it off and feel from beginning that you're lowering into your knees just a little bit and you right away creating this pressure to the floor which gives you nice and strong core. And even when you're shifting from leg to leg, your legs always have that pressure. Of course, I'm shifting from one leg to the other, so percentage of my weight staying on one leg and the other is changing, but it's always the same pressure down. No matter what I will do, my core stays parallel. So engage your muscles, 
but feel that your shoulders still relax. Now, next part, we in this position. And what we will do, we will create rotation. So please put your hands on your sternum, lift your elbows up and forward with shoulders down. Again, don't try to be too stiff, don't put too much effort into it. Right now we're talking about horse, so all concentration should be here. With this position, what we will do, we will do just a rotation and we will turn ourselves from our thighs. So my thigh is turning, my entire body. You can keep your head straight. If it's difficult for now, you can turn everything together. The point of this exercise is to maintain your core. Practice your core and your hips position. Mm -hmm. Now, one more time. Relax. Drop it, everything off. And again, get into this pressure from the floor. Stretch your core. Put your hands. And one more time, rotation from your thighs. From your thighs. What will be wrong if it will be in your shoulders? It's not about the amount of rotation, it's about quality. So feel that your legs creating this rotation. You still have a pressure and you're turning in this straight position. Very good, very good. So what we will do with this, that strong core, now we will practice with the rotation only in the rib cage. Same position, soft knees, hands to your sternum, elbows up and forward. Now we're not turning our hips, we're turning just the rib cage, at least a little bit. But feel that it happens only in the rib cage. And your core is still engaged, shoulders still relaxed, and you can breathe. Okay, keep breathing, do it slowly if you need, and you don't need to turn a lot, it's just about maintaining your core. Very good, that was our second exercise. The third one, we'll do same position, but we will roll our shoulders back and open up our arms. Okay, you ready? So, soft your knees, great pressure to the ground. Get support from your feet into your core, into your pelvis. Now open up your arms to the side. Now what we will do, we will turn our hands up by rotating our biceps. Not the wrists, biceps. One time, straight arms to the side and turn it from your biceps up. Mm -hmm. From this position, what we will do, we will turn everything from our thighs, like we did in the first exercise. Make sure that your core is still engaged and your arms getting support from your pelvis, which stays straight, because I'm turning everything together. What is important, paying attention to your shoulders. If you have a chance to do it in front of the mirror, make sure that your shoulders do not move. They're turning, with the entire body, so it's not happening here, it's not your arms, it's from your legs, from your legs, okay, now roll your shoulders back, breathe in, breathe out, and try one more time, you can help yourself in your knees with a small rise up, but make sure that your pelvis stays straight. Very good. Leave it to the side. And now try to put your own frame with the same intention of rotation in terms of your biceps. So open it to the side, turn it, flip it from your biceps. Now bend your elbows, but keep the same feel internally in your arms. Now keep your core and shift your weight from leg to leg correct position. Again, keep the pressure from one foot to the other one, keep the pressure down, down to the floor. Now let's go forward and let's go back. 
forward, back. Add the foot, maintain your posture. We're talking about our core. What is super important, maintain your hips and core position. Very good, relax. And let's quickly recap what we did today. So we talked about our core and our pelvis. Our keeping pelvis stays straight, core engaged, rib cage is open but not stiff. We still can breathe and maintain this position. Exercise number one, we did put hands in our sternum and turned from our thighs. Exercise number two, we did rotation from our rib cage only. It's a small rotation, but I need you to feel that you can separate your muscles, isolate. Exercise number three, we open up arms, rotate them up, and did the same rotation from our thighs. And then we turn into normal frame, exercise, exercise number four, full frame, shift your weight from leg to leg, maintaining the same posture, maintaining your core, your pelvis, and moving forward and back. That's it guys, thank you for watching, see you next time.